Well, I hope you've enjoyed the service this morning. I'd encourage you to get online and register for face-to-face -face services in future. Um, we are going to have a couple of services every Sunday face-to-face, -face, so hopefully um, there'll be enough spaces for everyone to be able to meet to some extent. Um, I'd like to leave you with a passage from 2 Peter chapter 3, and it's called The Day of the Lord. And it says, I want you to recall the words spoken in the past by the holy prophets and the command given by our Lord and Saviour through your apostles. Above all, you must understand that in the last days, scoffers will come, scoffing and following their own evil desires. They will say, where is this coming, he has promised. Ever since our ancestors died, everything goes on as it has since the beginning of creation. But they deliberately forgot that long ago, by God's word, the heavens came into being, and the earth was formed out of water and by water. By these waters also, the world of that time was deluged and destroyed. And by the same word, the present heavens and earth are reserved for fire, being kept for the day of judgment and destruction of the ungodly. But do not forget this one thing, dear friends. With the Lord, a day is like a thousand years, and a thousand years are like a day. The Lord is not slow in keeping his promise, as some understand slowness. Instead, he is patient with you, not wanting anyone to perish, but everyone to come to repentance. And that's my prayer for all of us this week, that we would seek God, seek repentance that can only be found through Jesus. Have a great week.